Good evening YouTube, this is Joshua McGraw from Doppler Interactive bringing you a very delayed update for Welcome to Nice Town. Uh, really got a lot to show you this evening, so uh, how about we follow this pig and get started. Uh, the pig's one you wouldn't have seen before, I guess. He's a semi-new character to the Welcome to Nice Town world, and uh, right now he's carrying apples around. Uh, why does he like apples? I'm really not sure. He just does. Uh, he's really demonstrating the fact that the uh, NPCs can carry stuff around, which was a surprising hassle considering uh, our aviator can carry things around with gusto. Um, but there he is, wandering about. He'll uh, look for either a spot of dirt, like right there, or a piece of ground, and he'll put that apple down. Uh, that's what all of the characters do actually, they'll look for something they like, so the monkey will look for a blank space and he'll dig a hole, a hole like you see right there. Uh, a hole will eventually sprout weeds, as you can see right here, and the circle of life continues. Uh, the toucan, we'll have a look at him, will do a few things. He'll check his mailbox, check on his pumpkins and carrots, uh, and he'll also occasionally uh, look for weeds. The weeds you can see right here. And he'll uh, pull them out. So you can see it's a circle of life type of thing. Uh, and if we go and have a look at our plants over here, you'll see the same thing is happening. A uh, bit confusing, we're using plants and weeds have the same graphic, but you know, you can forgive us for that. Uh, a berry will drop from a plant, so it'll turn into a seed, and if it's on a pile of dirt, it will turn into another plant, which will sprout another berry. Ooh, as you can see down the bottom there, uh, it will drop the fruits and etc etc. So uh, that sort of evolution or progress is really the foundation uh, of the Welcome to Nice Town world or ecosystem, I guess you could say. Uh, and uh, yeah, these characters are just the people who go around maintaining that. Um, yeah, so you can see we've been fairly busy. We've actually got a, a metric ton of. Uh, characters to show you, but uh, don't give it all away for free on the first date, people. you gotta got to keep something for for the honeymoon. Um, let's see if we can wait it out until it hits evening. Are we that patient? I really don't know what the time scale is. Maybe we'll follow the pig around. He's a pretty interesting character. Nah, man, I fully can't wait that long. Um, yeah, so this is, this is what we've been up to. Uh, it's it's really coming together, and uh, I'll bring you some more updates, hopefully, you know, more regularly than what I've been doing, and uh, we'll start to see a bit of traction. Oh my god, it's getting dark. You can fully wait that long. It's like an hour game time, man. What do you got to do? Nothing. Oh goodness me. You feel every second, don't you? When you're waiting for something. Time is like that, I think. I could speed this up right in post, but I'm not gonna do that, man. I gotta wait for it. You gotta wait for it. We're in this together. You're on the bus or off the bus. Let's have a look if there's anything else you haven't seen in the meantime. Not really, I guess. I think I've shown you the monkey walking around. He's an obnoxious little character. Here's an egg, inexplicably sitting there. Uh, that'll definitely be something. I'll uh, talk to you a little more about that on another update. Oh, screw this guy. This is taking way too long. I'll tell you what. I got this function where I uh, speed up the timescale so I can check you know, that things will work well on a longitudinal basis. You'll be able to see the time shifting there. So uh, how about you check that out? I'll upload that later this evening. This has been Joshua McGraw from Doppler Interactive, bringing you an extended and belated update to Welcome to Nice Town.